This morning, the city of Akron is waking up to some minor damage from protests yesterday. Demonstrators remained relatively peaceful up until just before 9 o'clock last night when police fired tear gas to disperse the crowds. Dr. Ronell Vernon, the senior pastor of the Word Church, helped organize one of yesterday's rallies. He joins us live now via Skype. Pastor Vernon, we appreciate you. Good morning. What was your reaction to what unfolded yesterday? Well, first of all, I didn't help organize the rally, but I went as a clergy support uh, just because I thought my presence was necessary. Uh, I went down there for several reasons. First and foremost, to make sure that uh, black and brown children, white children got home safely. Uh, there's always uh, that individual in the crowd. I like the fact that you differentiated protesters from agitators. Uh, most persons wanted to peacefully protest. But like in any context, there's always some person that kind of catches a mob mentality. I hearken back to the 60s when J. Edgar Hoover would plant agitators in Dr. King's marches to make it seem unpeaceful when the majority of persons just wanted to come and stand up for the beautiful brother who lost his life in Minnesota. Pastor, what is your message to your congregation and to the community when you see what happened? Well, Dr. King, and I'll be talking about this shameless plug uh, at 10 a.m. on the Word Church's official YouTube page. I'll be preaching a message dealing with the fact that Dr. King said only darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can drive out darkness. So in a very real sense, uh, we have a right uh, to feel anger, particularly as black and brown persons. We're hurting right now. Uh, Dr. King said that riots are the language of the unheard. And so when you see persons rioting in every city, it's because of years of oppression, sadly, with black and brown persons. Uh, to that end, I'm so proud, even when you mention a peaceful protest in Vermilion, uh, a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood, where now finally even whites are saying enough is enough. Nothing changes until those in the dominant culture also say, I may be a person of privilege, a part of the dominant culture, but right is right and wrong is wrong. So what I'm most proud of is that there are so many thousands of persons who are not black who watched that tape and said, listen, my humanity, my integrity demands that I say something about a brother who lost his life needlessly under a knee for almost nine minutes. See, your humanity kicked in. At that moment, you weren't just white. You were a person saying that was just not right. He treated him like an animal. A powerful message. Thank you, Pastor. We appreciate you. We know you have a busy day ahead of you, and we always, always are grateful for your time and your expertise. Let's stay safe in Cleveland. I love this city more. Listen, I love it as much as anybody in the world, and uh, I want to make sure that Cleveland stays safe. Jesus loves everybody. Have a great Sunday.